just like me, exactly like me, you got a coat on like me, you got black pants, black hood, uh, wherever I happen to go, I just got here from the Mac, uh, the Mac station over here. That dude's impersonating me, he's in black pants, black shoes, black coat, hood, you know, take a look at me, take a look at me, the only difference between him, the only difference between him and me is I'm disabled from being poisoned by my wife and by Portland cops and by Multnomah County Sheriff officers, which is why I use a cane, and of course I have a suitcase, because I'm homeless, because I lost my home when the Multnomah County Sheriff's and the Portland Police Department uh, took over the surrounding apartments and they were poisoning my tap water and basically setting me up while they were poisoning me and I discovered it and I had to abandon my apartment um, as a consequence of this and my apartment manager uh, was aiding and abetting them. Ever since I have became homeless on the street, it doesn't matter where I go, it doesn't matter what area I go to. I'm currently at 122nd and uh, Burnside. There's a Burnside Street right there. 122nd and Burnside. Uh, it doesn't matter what, where I go to, uh, Sting Ops will follow me. Sometimes, sometimes it's Officer Eric Carlson, the cop that was having an affair with my wife. More often than not, though, it's just some fucking cop or some relative of a cop that's a Sting Op. Uh, that's just uh, following me around and they're just harassing me and they'll just dress, dress up like me. And the reason they do this is because they can act like a criminal for video surveillance. They can act like a criminal for video surveillance. Like there's video cameras at these Mac stations, <clears throat> which is like, it's like a bus. It's, it's no different than riding a bus, but it's like a, tra uh, it's a, a train that we have here in Portland, Oregon that you use like a bus. And there's cameras at these places. So they ha they'll have doubles dress up like me, people that will just dress up like me and mimic me. And uh, they do it for the purpose of framing. And they do this everywhere I go. It doesn't matter what location I happen to go to, um, they're doing this. They dress up exactly like me. Sometimes they'll have a backpack exactly like mine. That person didn't have a backpack like mine. Uh, here's what my backpack is. me having to take it off and I, it's difficult to take off my backpack and put it back on uh, but sometimes the, the doubles that they have impersonating me they'll be they'll have a coat like mine they'll be dressed exactly almost exactly like me and then they'll have a backpack exactly like mine uh, uh, sometimes they'll even have a cane um, sometimes I, they've had canes that are like this old-fashioned cane uh, they've had, had other canes where they're just like a stick cane, where it's like it's just straight, there's no hook at the end. There's no hook at the end, it'll just be like a straight stick. <clears throat> but no matter where I go, it doesn't matter where I go, um, they do this. And uh, I'm going to do my best to try to document it and capture it. Uh, <clears throat> they don't have to be exact lookalikes, so all they have to do is just dress up like me and then perform. They just perform for uh, local businesses and local, you know, video surveillance cameras. And they'll just mimic me and impersonate me, and they, they, they act like criminals. And, of course, they're trying to act like they're not disabled. So they're trying to hide the fact that I'm disabled from being poisoned. So for video surveillance purposes, they want to make it look like I'm not disabled. That's what they're trying to make it look like. Okay, this is enough for now. Uh, the date today is... Uh, January uh, 2nd, uh, 2016. Uh, the time right now is uh, 11.40.